What is going on everybody in the world? First, I want to mention a few things. This is my review of the movie. Watching the movie and reviewing it is subjective. So, this is what I think of it. If you have a totally different opinion, that's totally fine. If you agree, that's totally fine. The other thing, I'm not going to talk about every single thing in this movie. Otherwise, this video would go on for a very long time. You're just a freak. Like me. You won't kill me out of some misplaced sense of self-righteousness. And I won't kill you because you're just too much fun. I think you and I are destined to do this forever. Damn. It's a line from The Dark Knight. Joker. Great, great, great villain. Ah. Uh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adapted the dark. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man and by that time it was nothing to me but blinding. The shadows betray you. Because they belong to me. Damn! Right there. Right there. Yeah. Those two were awesome villains who uh, actually fought Batman, you know? They were actually villains. <laughs> superb dialogue, superb lines. Superb. And this uh, Iron Man 3, the main villain that the studio has uh, picked, is Mandarin. And uh, as you probably already know, <laughs> <laughs> there is no confrontation between him and Iron Man. And there is no actual fight. Imagine if in the Dark Knight Rises, Bane didn't fight Batman, and uh, he was just a personality, he was an actor. You know, like working for somebody else who was a puppeteer running the show, and uh, there was no huge boss fight, oh hell yeah, it's gonna be Iron Man versus Mandarin. It's gonna be Batman versus Bane, oh shit, fuck. Hell yeah, dog, dude! He breaks his back. Oh, I can't wait to see it, and we see none of that. Imagine that happened, because that's what happened in Iron Man Three. <laughs> There's a part where Tony Stark tells Gwyneth Paltrow, "Things are different now. I have to protect the one thing I can't live without, and that's you. They're gonna kill that poor woman." <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, then good for you. It's like, oh, geez, oh, they're gonna kill the poor woman. But anyway, yeah, Iron Man does not really fight how you would think. You know, put it this way, uh, like I said, the he's an actor. Mandarin is an actor. <laughs> yeah, uh, am I gonna watch this movie again? No. Am I ever gonna watch it again? No. Uh, because that's a huge plot twist and once you already know it happened it, you're, you're just like okay yeah it happened uh, it is a monumental disaster for what they did like uh, stupid Spider-Man 3 having emo moron freaking Peter Parker <laughs> fucking grind the air or how about the fantastic movie where fuck Mr. F Stretch Armstrong is like dancing it's just what are they thinking? What are they thinking? I, I like to say Hollywood morons. Uh, I'm glad I saw this movie for free. I'll put it just put it that way. I'm glad I didn't pay to see that POS. Uh, the whole movie is not a POS, okay? It's not because it's exciting in some parts, a lot of parts, but I'll leave it with this. Seriously, imagine if Batman did not fight Bane, and Bane was an actor. Thank you for watching everybody. Subscribe, oh, one thing. One thing I gotta tell you guys that you will, you will definitely enjoy. I went to the set of The Man of Steel. The video is on my page, and an annotation here, and a link to that video below. Gotta check it out. Thank you.